here we have the 2024 EV9, a three-row luxurious SUV that, as you see it here, is about $67,000. And it might be an excellent choice for the family buyer who wants to make the transition to a full electric vehicle without suffering too many compromises. The EV9 is obviously a modern looking SUV, an EV SUV right down to those aerodynamic wheels. It's bold and spacious. On city streets and on highways, the ride is quiet. There's lots of power here. The acceleration is robust and it can tow up to 2,267 kilograms. That's 5,000 pounds. There is an 800 volt charging system. That means you can charge from 10% to 80% in as little as 24 minutes if you have the right charging station. 500 kilometers of range, it's possible. And the EV9 is a relative bargain compared to its big rivals from Mercedes-Benz, Tesla, and Rivian. Let's talk about those rivals. Tesla's Model X has about 15% more range and it is available with a third row, but overall the cabin is much, much smaller than the EV9. As for the Rivian, the R1S has about 20% more range, but is a lot more expensive. This is the GT Line EV9, which is a very fancy rig and it comes loaded with standard features. The zero to 100 kilometer a time, under five seconds, which is pretty amazing for a three row SUV. It has smooth get up and go in everyday driving and the braking, the stopping power is really excellent. Overall, it is an easy EV to drive, smooth over ruts and bumps, and it's not bouncy or floaty on the highway. It's quiet. There's very little wind and road noise coming into the cabin. Outward visibility is commendable and that 360 degree camera is good for tight parking maneuvers. The front seats here are very comfortable and they come with excellent heating and ventilation. The GT line is also available with a massage function for the front seats and that's pretty luxurious. The GT line trim has the available upgraded second row captain's chairs, very comfy and very adjustable. As for the third row seats, they're okay. An adult can get back there, but they're tight just like all the other three row SUVs. These doors open nice and wide and the relatively low step in height means getting in and out. It's a snap. The controls, well, this selector stock, it's not intuitive. It's kind of goofy and in an awkward location. The dual 12.3 inch touchscreens, very good, nice and clear and well laid out. Not so good is the location because it's too easy to nudge touch sensitive control buttons below. The steering wheel, also partially blocks the driver's view of the climate control screen. I will tell you that the EV9 is loaded with fancy tech features. The audio system is good, but not great, and the navigation system operates just fine. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, well, they operate wirelessly with this rig, which is always a welcome bonus. The adaptive cruise control works well and is certainly welcome in stop and go driving and the lane keeping system also works just like the best of its rivals. Cargo space, it's generous back here and if you drop the third row, it just about doubles. The average transaction price for an EV in Canada, around $74,000. This EV9 as you see it here, $67,000 plus fees and taxes, of course. But what you're getting is a three row SUV loaded with features, very well made, very well equipped, an excellent warranty, a zero to 100 kilometer time of around five seconds, maximum range of about 500 kilometers, a recharge, well, 10% to 80% in as little as 24 minutes. Well, that beats all the competition in this class of vehicle and it may be the ideal starter vehicle for the family that wants to go to an EV without making very many compromises. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Cato and this is CatoCarGuy.com. We'll see you next time.